The next grammar point is gender. In Hindi, all nouns have grammatical gender. They either belong to masculine gender or feminine gender. There's no specific way of knowing the gender of a noun, but there's a rule of thumb that students can use to identify the gender of a noun. Most nouns ending in A are masculine. Most nouns ending in E belong to feminine gender. Here we have some examples. Number one is sofa. Sofa ends in A, that's why it's masculine. Number two, almari, closet. Almari ends in E, that's why it's feminine. Number three, baksa, that means box, ends in A, so masculine. Parda, curtain, ending in A, masculine. Number five, kursi, a chair, ending in E, that means it's feminine. Number six, ghari, a watch or clock, ending in E, feminine. Khidki, window, feminine. Darwaza, ends in A, door, masculine. And of course, the natural genders. Regardless of the ending, the natural genders are the grammatical genders. Man is masculine and woman is feminine. Here you can see that the word men is admi, it ends in e. But regardless of the ending, admi is men, admi is masculine. Aurat is woman, it is feminine. Larka, a boy, masculine. Larki, a girl, feminine. Bhai, brother, masculine. Behan, sister, feminine. Ma, Mother feminine, Pitaji father masculine, Chacha uncle masculine, and Chachi auntie feminine.